Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and my first ever vlog showing a day in my life. It's a Saturday and I wake up at the very early hour of 6 o'clock to get ready for an extremely long day in London where I'll be doing loads of exciting things. Once I've grabbed some breakfast and hosed myself down, I leave the house praying there's none of that typical English rain. On the train, Clara and I intend to listen to a podcast from Tim Ferriss about mindset, but we end up watching a rather strange video about Charlie the Unicorn and his journey to Candy Mountain. Thankfully, it wasn't long before I arrived in London and made my way to the Tube, where I consulted a bunch of different maps to help me navigate this underground maze. Luckily, my many years doing orienteering as a kid paid off, so after jumping on a couple of excessively hot trains and getting distracted by my own reflection, I successfully arrived at King's Cross Station to begin the first leg of my trip to Hogwarts. Unfortunately, my trolley got stuck, so disappointingly, I had to change my plan. Instead of spending my morning on the Hogwarts Express, I decided to be a nice person and visit my brother, who works relatively nearby. After a quick tour of his house and admiring the views from the penthouse suite, we grabbed a few goodies from a local coffee shop and explored some of the local attractions. We chatted about everything from business ideas to our favourite birds, and soon we ran out of things to say. So I found the closest station and headed to Leicester Square. It was already one o'clock and I was pretty hungry, so as a responsible adult, I decided we should go to M&M World. Feeling like a literal kid in a sweet shop, I ran around looking at all the cool and quirky things they had for sale, before unleashing my inner Willy Wonka and gathering a small bag of my favourite M&Ms. Having done that, it was time for my proper lunch at Whole Foods. Just kidding, I went to Chinatown to find the cheapest Chinese buffet I could find and stuffed myself with a delicious mix of noodles, spring rolls and a slightly overcooked beef dish. Plates clean and bellies full, I couldn't resist the temptation of these delicious looking donuts. So after a quick negotiation about which donut to choose, we settled for Ice Ice Bay Bay, which was covered in brownie, cookie dough and buttercream. Clara then decided we needed to do some shopping. This didn't seem that appealing, so I found a bunch of people protesting about the state of LGBTQ rights, and so followed the party up Oxford Street before diving into a few shops I actually like. This mainly involved looking at the latest Apple gadgets and finding a new pair of gym socks at the Nike store. All this shopping and a strange bike bar loaded with drunken revelers made me pretty thirsty, so we popped into the closest cafe before continuing with our day. A few thousand steps later, down past famous sites, busy streets, and some pretty impressive buildings with a tired Clara, we arrived at Trafalgar Square. It was now almost five o'clock and our legs were aching, but a good London vlog wouldn't be complete without a few clips of the National Portrait Gallery, Nelson's Column, the Landseer Lions, and an enormous cupcake. At this point, I was planning to head to my hotel, but an open topped bus packed full of the Queen's guards and the entire Met Police gathering outside Downing Street lured me towards my second protest of the day. It was a demonstration led by anti-vaxxers who were sickened by the government's response to the virus and decided they had to knock on Bojo's door to get a response. All this excitement was too much for me, so Clara and I quickly waddled down the road towards Westminster so we could catch a quick glance at Big Ben, the Houses of Parliament and the London Eye. With just over an hour until I had to meet up with my team, I rushed back to this funky looking underground station, hopped on the Jubilee Line and got back to where I started, King's Cross. Five minutes later, we were at the hotel, checked in and took the lift to the top floor where our very cosy room awaited our arrival. And once settled in, I took a much needed break to prepare myself for the evening ahead. Clara and I have just finished a really long day in London and we've just arrived at our hotel. So we're going to just chill out for about 30 minutes to an hour before I and hopefully Clara head off to see Ali and yeah, it should be good fun. I put on the least creased shirt I could find and made my way to Camino, a restaurant serving authentic Spanish tapas. Here I was meeting up with some of the team that helped run Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber Academy course. I'll put a link in the description section below for those of you who want to find out more about the course and Ali's YouTube channel. We ordered some delicious food 
and we spent the next couple of hours chatting about life, revealing some of our deepest, darkest secrets, and deciding on the best way to celebrate Ali reaching 2 million YouTube subscribers. Contrary to expectation, this wasn't the productivity Illuminati. After awkwardly eating some churros with chocolate sauce, we said our goodbyes with the full intention of heading to bed. Unfortunately, things didn't go to plan, and we found ourselves at a bar ordering a popcorn cocktail and a Miami Vice. We took our drinks to the rooftop bar and spent more time filming them than actually drinking them. Eventually, we downed our drinks and drowned our sorrows, before everything went rapidly downhill. And so it was time to go back to the hotel. So we slowly walked to our Premier Inn and thought it would be best for us to call it a night. We have returned back to our hotel and it is the end of our very long day. And so, yeah, I guess it's going to be time for bed for both of us. Right, this is the end of our day and it is time for us to get a good night's sleep, I think. So, I hope you enjoy the video. I may cut this bit out later. I hope you enjoy the video and yeah, good night. <laughs>